Here I have a homework problem that says change 13 over 25 to a decimal. If rounding is necessary, round to the nearest hundredths place. So we have this fraction 13 over 25. We want to change it into a decimal. So the way we can change it into a decimal is by putting the numerator, the top number, 13, under the division sign and put the 25 on the outside. We're trying to find how many times does 25 go into, we start with the first number, how many times does 25 go into 1? 25 is bigger than 1, so it doesn't go in any times. So we'll skip to looking at 13. How many times does 25 go into 13? Well again, 25 is larger. So we'll need to put a decimal at the end of 13 and add a 0. When we add this decimal in, under the division sign, we also need to add it straight up into the answer. So we can put a 0 prior to the decimal since it doesn't go in any times. Now we need to find how many times does 25 go into 130? Well, to figure out this, we need to do some multiplication. 25, if we start by, let's say, 25 times 4, 25 times 4 is 4 times 5 is 20, so we'll carry the 2 and put down the 0. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10. So 25 times 4 is 100, so that's a little bit too small. If we add another 25 to that, that gives us 125. So 125 is 5 times 25. If we add another 25, that makes 5 plus 5 is 10. So put down the 0, carry a 1. 1 plus 2 plus 2 is 5. And bring down the 1. So this would be 25 times 4 is 100. 25 times 5 is 125. And 25 times 6 would be 150. So 125 is smaller than 130, but 150 is too large, so it would be times 5, which we can take the 5, multiply it by 25, makes 125, and then we subtract. 0 minus 5, we can't do that, so we need to borrow from the 3. Subtracting 1 from that makes it a 2, and give a 10, make, a, make the uh, 1 to place a 10. 10 minus 5 is 5, 2 minus 2 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0, so it would just be a 5. From here, we can add another 0 and bring it down. So now we're trying to find out how many times does 25 go into 50. Well, 25 times 2, if we multiply that out, 2 times 5 is 10, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, so 25 times 2 is 50. You can put a 2 on top. And since 25 times 2 is 50, we put that below the 50 and subtract, leaving us with a remainder of 0. So this is our answer, which is 0 0.52, changing 13 over 25 into a decimal. And since the 2 here is in the hundredths place, it says if rounding is necessary, round to the hundredths place. We're already in the hundredths place. So we don't need to do any rounding. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe. And feel free to comment a question if you have a homework help question that you need, that you would like for me to work out for you.